Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I have an unbagging to do and this one has come to me from the lovely people at gbfke.com. Um, I've done some packages for them before and they asked me would I like some more products to show you and I said yes of course because I love their products. I think they're absolutely brilliant. So um, I did start filming this video and unfortunately my record wasn't recording so I'm having another go. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what we've got this time okay so we have oh, one canvas okay uh, oh another canvas and oh another canvas and oh a little special drill project and another special drill project wow it wouldn't be a Liz unboxing without special drill projects. But let's put those on the side for now. And we'll have a look at these. Now this one I've been waiting for. So I want to get into this one and have a look and see what it's like. Okay, I don't know whether you've seen these uh, on some of the sites. But let me take it out of the bag first so you can hear me. <laughs> crinkle, crinkle. It is a one metre Christmas decorative tape free cutting DIY tape so it's like a decorative border for Christmas and I thought oh, I've got to have one of those got to have one of those I love anything new that's coming out I have to have a look and see what it's like so we've got your uh, standard toolkit with your extra pair of tweezers there Okay, whoa, look at all, oh, look at all the special drills, sparkle, sparkle. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So it's a great big long border. Uh, as far as I know, it's self-adhesive. Now it says die cut, so we'll have a, a look at that as well. And um, let's put the drills at that end just to keep it bit straighter but yeah it's a meter long wow oh it's still going it's still going it's still going sorry it's off camera but it is still going and uh, yeah so oh, it's got a little teeny tiny foam roller in the middle <laughs> okay so i just saw this and i thought oh that's gonna be great i think i'm either gonna put it on the front of my fireplace or I'm going to put it above the fireplace. Mind you, then I won't see it quite so much. I suppose because it's got like a repeating pattern, you could actually get more than one and join them all together as they go along. But it's going to be all special drills. They have got them in different colours. So if you're not keen on your traditional Christmas, um, that's my favourite red green and gold uh, but I think they had some that were like blues and cooler tones as well but uh, yeah look at that all the poinsettias and the baubles and the holly berries and like parts of fair trees and it looks like we've got some uh, is the fair cones on it no possibly not but there may be oh no there might be that might be a fair cone there in the middle so yeah I just thought oh, look this. but look it just goes on forever another another <laughs> so yeah it's a meter long um so i mean that's three foot 36 inches that's quite a nice long length i mean you could chop it up and put it into different parts i suppose you could even sort of miter it at the corners and put it around a picture frame or something or make corners you know on a mirror or something like that with it but i just thought oh, i love that idea love things that you can do more than one thing with and let's have a look it says it's die cut so oh yes it is oh look at that oh wow and it's transparent as well so when you put it on your wall you'll see your sparkle but there's no white edges or anything so it will just literally look as though it is stuck on your wall um you know it's not a picture or whatever you know what i mean <laughs> So uh, yeah, and it just easily peels off all those set uh, branches and everything there. So they've done all the hard work for you, cutting it out for you. It does need a little bit of flattening. It's got a little bit um, squished as it's come on the foam roller, I suppose. But uh, 
that's only to be expected but i think it's more the back that's squished this part's more raised up and squished but that's okay uh, once i've got it all done and the stickers taken off then i'll flatten it down and as with the halloween stickers and things that we've got um if you keep your carrier sheet your back backing sheet then after christmas you can peel it off and put it back on the backing sheet so you can bring it out year after year you don't you're not stuck with having it stuck out um all of the time <laughs> Just wondering if I can just snip through that just to flatten it down a little bit. Um, let me have a look. Because I can't really peel it all off to do that. Because it will uh, spoil it. Let me just see. Let me get my fine point scissors. And just give it a bit of a snip through the bubble in the middle. See if this works. I try these things so that you can see them and then you... Oh, yes, it does. So that's just flattened it down that little bit, yeah, without affecting the sticker or whatever on the other side. So you could carefully use a craft knife, but as long as you can get your scissors into that little bit there without cutting the front, you don't want to be cutting the sticker. And, yeah, it just uh, flattens it down because I won't be rolling this back up now. I will uh, be keeping it nice and flat and then it will get done because I do want this up as my Christmas decorations. Just give that a little bit of a snip there as sound. Just getting in between the carrier sheet and the sticker so it's not affecting the sticker in any way. Albeit with it being a repeating pattern, you could uh, actually, once you've done it, um, piece it together if you wanted to but I'm just getting sort of the big ones out really so it's unfortunate uh, that this is that the backing has just got that little bit but I say it's not affecting the sticker at all look it's just meaning now it's laying nice and flat yay okay I won't do any more I will go right along once I've uh, finished videoing because there's just a couple more to do at this end as well but yeah just keeps it flat and uh, ready to diamond paint and oh yeah i think actually i'll probably just hang this one up so that it stays flat that way but that is so so pretty let's have a look at these gems there is a lot of them put my scissors away okay right sparkly drills uh the price of this as well is seven euros 89 it's a good price for one meter of like a big stick to diamond paint really good let's start at the other end and work our way to the pretties at the far end so we have oh a nice christmas gold and a very lemony gold and a couple of oh different shades of red there lovely dark red and a cherry red and a little bit of a pale pink, that's pretty. And a pale green. And oh, three different greens look. So we're going to get lots of different tones um, in this little wreath. Well, it's like a wreath, I suppose. I mean, it's a border, but it's like um, a holly wreath, basically, all flattened out in a straight line rather than going in a circle. <laughs> and then we've got your standard black, a little bit of pale gold like a, a bronzy pale bronzy color and then look at these oh, wow that's like um it's like an orange sort of a yeah like an orangey color with then your ab your iridescent coating added all over the top so you're just getting all those different sparkly colors See if we can yeah we can yeah just there and then a pale gold teardrop and oh lots of berries look they're the uh, half rounds that don't have any facets on so they really do look like berries when they're on pictures and then some little marquees with that fire red iridescent coating on so they've got all your different colors there pinks and reds and purples oh, lovely oh i'm so pleased i got this so i've seen it um a couple of times and i, I kept thinking shall i get it shan't i and I thought, no, I'm going to have to get it. I just uh, love trying anything new and anything different. If you're anything like me, it's nice to see things uh, a little bit more close up 
uh, rather than just seeing them from a picture. So yeah, I oh, love that. Oh, so many ideas. Got to get it done first though, Liz. Got to get it done. Okay, so we'll pop that one out of the way for now. And what shall we look at next? Oh, let's have a look at this one. This is um, one of the glasses cases. Which, again, I'm going to do a few of these, I think, um, possibly as presents for people. I love these. It's one of these wah, 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 wah ones <laughs> with like the spring opening. And uh, yeah, I've got a purse like this, they sell purses, and there's lots of different uh, ones of this. But I just thought this owl looks stunning. Just loved him. Uh, we've got like a smoky moon in the background and the clouds just going across it. So yeah, how pretty is he? Going to look so nice when he's done. They're like that faux leather, EVA it's called, so easily wipe clean. And I like them because they're not as bulky, you know, if you're wanting to put them, um, your glasses in your handbag or, or in a briefcase or whatever. They're not as bulky as the cases, the hard cases that you get to, with your glasses when you buy them. So we have in here, all nice and compact, your gems. And a toolkit with uh, your tweezers again there. Nice starter toolkit. And I will just put my glasses in. Just got them on the top of my head. And yeah, you can see they just fit in. I've got, I mean, I think I've got a fairly standard head. I'm not quite sure. Uh, just you know, plenty of room there. And uh, plenty of room to get your glasses in. So they do work. But I just like playing with these. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Oh dear, big kid, big kid, never mind. <laughs> Let's have a look at these drawings. See what colours we've got on our little owl. Oh, just those eyes are just absolutely gorgeous. Got a lot of owls around here at the moment when we're laid in bed on a night and it goes really quiet. Every now and again you just get a hoo-hoo. So, yeah, like listening to owls. Okay, so we've got two uh, sort of amber orangey colours there. We've got like a darker brown bronzy colour. And that's a bit more reddy orange. And then, oh, we only need one of those for the beak look. And we've got a packet full. So, yeah, we like spares. Yay. <laughs> Always wanting a few spares. So that is our gorgeous owl case. So, nice as little presents for people you know if you're just wanting a little thank you gift or a little practical gift for somebody um yeah rather than an ornament or something like that um you know, if somebody wears glasses it's handy to have a case i mean even if you just take your glasses out and stand them on top of the case at least it's not on the table and you're not going to get scratched or whatever i would recommend sealing these though um because the drills, if you know, putting them in, in and out of bags and things, they're likely to move or come off. But if good quality sealer over the top of them, then they're going to be okay. But uh, yeah, oh, it's sewn into the sides. I, I know why they sew the cover sheets into the sides. Uh, it's to stop it from coming off. But it does take ages to pick out the plastic from the <laughs> stitching. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's not my favourite when the stitcher the cover sheets in. But as I say, I don't understand why they do it that way. But yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. Let's give him a quick measure. I'll tell you the measurements of it anyway. So it fitted the glasses in, but it's about seven and a quarter inches, which is eighteen and a half centimeters, and the width is nine centimeters three and a half inches so yeah sort of a standardish size let's put those drills in there so i don't lose them and we'll keep them in this packet as well for now but, uh, yeah I, I did actually buy this one um to give to somebody but i just like it so much i think i might have to keep it myself now <laughs> Oh dear, that's the trouble. I do all these things and I think, oh yeah, um, this person would like that and this person would like that. And then I get it and I think, and this person here would like that as well. <laughs> okay, right, I'm going to look at this one next because I think you'll love this one as much as I do. Okay. Oh, the price of the uh, glasses case as well. She 
says desperately trying to find it on a piece of paper it's three pound and 34 pence so yeah i mean great if you're doing say secret santas things like that um then yeah they're a great little uh, stocking filler and uh, a very practical present as well okay so let's have a look at this one oh dear this really made me laugh when i saw it and i thought i've got to have it i've got to have it okay so it's one of my favorite sizes 30 by 40. we have your standard tool kit uh, there's no tweezers in this one because this one is just a, a standard gem one but we put all those colors and they're in the nice bags in the train or the snake whichever way you call them and it is looking <laughs> Oh dear me, is that not just one of the funniest things you've seen? It just made me laugh so much. It's not just the fact that we've got like this gnome that's dressed up like a Christmas tree um, and just the one bauble hanging here. A um, little bit of a shout out for peanuts, I think, on that one there. But it's this. Is this? I think this is a dog or a cat that has decided to dress up uh, alongside him as either a highland cow or as like a tree and uh, yeah half of the antler has come off there look I think there should be another one going up there and I can just imagine if that was my little Millie Moo my little Scottish terrier and I dressed her up in fact if I try putting anything dress up on her she would just sit there and glare at me just like that one is <laughs> So I just had to get this one. It just made me laugh so much. It's like, if you think I'm moving or going anywhere looking like this, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> you can just feel the attitude coming off the page on that one. And this has got a look, a little love heart there saying, oh, I love you, I love you. And this is saying, you've got to be joking. I'm not wearing this. <laughs> So it's wonderful, I just loved it, so I had to get this one. And this one was uh, four euros, 89 cents. So yeah, I'll just give it a quick flatten down. So this is a 30 by 40, which is uh, my favorite size. It's a full drill, which means it's a full coverage. And we are past the 1st of November, so we are into November territory. So yes, this will be going with my Christmas, but also my November uh, categories. So we will try and get him done for November or Christmas. Gives us a little bit more scope when it's a Christmassy one. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, we've got all the blue sky in the background and then all the like um shadowy uh snowflakes around it it's stood on snow so oh my goodness this one's got little paws look here so it looks like it's actually sat on its bottom in the snow which is probably another reason why it's thinking i'm just not happy <laughs> so yeah we've got our lovely christmas hat on there as well and i just saw it and i thought oh, it's fantastic i've just got to have that one okay we're at 21 different colors and um, it is all capital letters for the uh, symbols on the canvas and we have got dmc codes okay so if you keep your drills that's fabulous you can sort them all out into the right ones so we have 25 centimeters drill area nine and three quarter inches by uh, about 35 ish just slightly under 35 centimeters 13 and a half inches so, yeah i don't measure to get an exact measurement it just gives you an idea of the size uh, if you want in uh, frames or whatever for your pictures so I'll flatten that bit out very well have a laser come on pull it a bit tighter that's it oh it's still creased my fault never mind right let's have a look and see what we've done <laughs> Oh dear, I love it, right. Okay, so is that, no, that's the end. So let's wear it again. So we're starting at number one, which is, oh, a nice denim blue. And then we've got this nice fresh green there, a little bit darker peppermint green, that one, very nice. And a black color there, just your standard black. 
pale grey and a stony colour. Oh, that's a pretty blue. That's like a baby blue. And wow. So I think these possibly are all the background. Um, it is quite a bit of colour changing. There's a little bit of colours all the same together. So small amount of colour blocking, but it is mainly um, what we call confetti, where there's quite a few colour changes in that background. We've got like a, a burgundy colour and a very deep green and an orangey red and another burgundy and a grey blue and some greens there look that's going to be all your shading all your greens on your little animal i think it's a dog because it looks like dog paw prints <laughs> and your little gonk your little gnome and another sort of orangey red and a pinky red more blues and a little bit of that's three eight six five just to finish off your bits there oh dear that is fabulous that's just so funny oh dear okay so that's the drills put away for that one so let's have a look at the next one. Oh, i think this one's christmas too so we'll have a look at this christmasy one Okay, another full drill painting. So let's see what we've got in this one. Excuse me, uh, it is my chair squeaking. I thought seeing as I'd got rid of the other chair that this chair wouldn't squeak, but I now have a cushion on this chair and the cushion squeaks against the um, plastic sort of faux leather of the chair. So I've now got an extra squeak. <laughs> All right, we've got our standard toolkit again. Okay, our lovely drills there and this one is oh look it's a snowman in a little wreath and i just thought this was quite a pretty little one to do nice quick project for christmas a 30 by 30 canvas and it's i say different for me because i am more traditional christmas but this is your blues and silvers and whites and golds and i thought oh, i'll just give this one a try because i just like the uh, scene of it um, and the different colors it just called out to me this one i think sometimes when you're looking through pictures tend to pick you rather than you pick them <laughs> is that just me does that happen to you as well it's got a cardinal on this one as well, which unfortunately we don't have those in uh, the UK, but it just gives that extra little pop of colour there um, and just draws your eye to it to draw your eye to the picture. I think the snowman has a little like village scene on his tummy there. It won't show up brilliantly because it is only a small picture, but you will get the idea of that. And then this background is all one colour. It is all the letter T. So, yeah, if you like your colour blocking, using your multi-placer and putting more than one drill down at a time, then this is for you. Uh, it tends to be when you're using your uh, multi-placers that white is one of the hardest colours to do um, to get it directly over the letters. But there aren't any guide circles or training circles on this, so you should be OK with it. But yeah, just thought it's a really pretty picture and it's such a happy snowman. He's got his eyes closed and a big smile on his face, obviously talking to this cardinal over here. And then your gorgeous bow right at the front of your wreath. So yeah, uh, it's 18 different colours, uh, nice capital letters for your key code as well. And we do have DMC codes and these canvases are sort of a mid um, range of thickness of stiffness to them they all feel more or less the same pretty standard and uh, yeah good okay give him a quick measure i think we'll be about 24 25 centimeters for your drill field yeah we have a 25 centimeters nine and three quarter inches 25 centimeters nine and three quarter inches so yeah uh, but yeah i just love that so pretty oh little smiley face and then our drills let's have a look at these again in the nice packaging the uh, train where does this open it opens there okay let's see what we've got i think we're going to be all blues and whites and greens on this uh, greens creams on this one <laughs> okay so oh a lovely uh, sort of a pale denim blue and a couple of greys there dark and light a little bit of pink 
and then some more greys and that's orangey so I think your cardinal is going to be like an orangey colour and grey again and a light blue and a dark blue and a couple of like stony beigey colours I think these are going to be um, all for the highlights like gold and a little bit of green, a very pale green and like a sage green and a little bit of peach and I think these will be your uh, bow and your uh, sorry your highlights on your bow and then a little bit of rusty colour a little bit more beige and then one two three four packs of 3865 for your background and most of your picture so yeah wow okay 18 colours but four bags of one very good and they look nice quality drills can't see any bits or anything in there and they are all round so lovely okay fold these up put them back in the packet okay and we'll have a look at the last one but yeah how pretty is this i think i can quite safely say i'm not going to need any wallpaper this christmas because they call of the walls will just be covered in diamond paintings <laughs> Okay, oh, the price of that one as well, I believe, is uh, $3, sorry, €3.89. And then finally, this one, which isn't Christmas and isn't gnomes, is something that I just saw and I thought, oh, I'll have to have that one. This one was uh, £3. Some of them I've got in euros, some of them I've got in pounds. I'm not quite sure how I've done that, but anyway, that's what they're showing up on my little printed out sheet that I've got. <laughs> I could get muddled up right so ooh, we've got baggies as well with this one so we've got your same toolkit pen board and wax we have oh look oh ooh, and it's the lovely grip seal bags with the diamonds on I'm keeping and collecting all these bags I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them but I don't like the diamond anything that's just that little bit special look at those I love them oh so yeah i mean this one is kitted up for you so if you wanted to give it to somebody as a present or somebody who's first time diamond painting they've got their toolkit wax boat and pen they've got their drills all in little bags ready to go uh, they don't even need a pair of scissors they could just get on and start diamond painting gee we like uh, everything included and look at this yay so this is just so many different categories that it uh, fits into we've got our gorgeous sunflowers down here which i absolutely love he's one of my bubble gum ones i've got a few paintings now with animals blowing bubble gum bubbles so it would fit in with that is a gorgeous giraffe which i love giraffes and then it's this lovely like wooden background shabby chic background um where we've got a saying and this one says live like someone left the gate open yeah um after the three years that we've had the ups and downs with hubby's illnesses um yeah grab life and live it like somebody left the gate open that's all i can say <laughs> okay so we'll give this a quick flatten down it's a gorgeous picture and again, my favourite size, 30 by 40. I do get some bigger ones, um, but I've just seem to be spotting uh, the pictures that are just calling out to me at the moment. Ah, lovely 30 by 40s. And, uh, yeah, that's what I like doing. That's what I like doing. <laughs> There's no right or wrong. Um, you know, don't if you don't want to do bigger paintings then sometimes a smaller one to get out that you finish quicker um to me anyway it ticks my oh i've completed something and i've achieved something box that a little bit quicker okay so this one has a 23 colors it is full drill so the whole of the picture is covered in nice straight lines of drills fingers crossed she says i don't try and keep them straight we have the MC codes and again the key code is all lovely capital letters at both sides of your canvas makes it a bit easier when you're working on it as well 
but isn't that just absolutely adorable i love these with the bubble gum i think they're really really good i know there are quite a few um sort of iconic people that are blowing bubble gum but uh, i love the animal ones i do like my animals okay and definitely my sunflowers as well yay okay um i'm not going to take these out of the bag because i think you can see all the different colours here. We've got pink, grey, pink. We've got a nice black and then another grey. These are like for the background. And then we've got your greens for your leaves and then your sunflowers and your pink for your bubble gum. And then we've gone to the back, um, the giraffe with your browns and everything there. Let's just see if we can. Just... Oh, let's just take those. says i'm not going to take them out but i will just quickly show you like we've got browns and peaches there and a few more greys and things and burgundies and a lovely pale blue and then your 3865 at the back so yeah so they're just so nicely in that bag i don't want to take them out <laughs> look at those colors aren't they absolutely stunning and again they look really nice drills and it's a good clear drill field they've all been with them being capital letters no guide circles so you're not going to have any problems with that and yeah that is absolutely oh so pretty love that one love that one and the price of our little giraffe is just three pounds so yeah i mean you can't even buy a cup of coffee these days for three pounds in some places so this is going to last you a lot longer than a cup of coffee uh there are some special offers at the moment on gbfke.com if you pop on there if you spend over 59 dollars uh, sorry 59 euros then there is free shipping and if you spend over 30 euros you get a free gift we like free gifts yay so pop over there and have a look obviously that's at the time of me making this video so just check and see what special offers are on when you watch the video or when you have a look on the website and see what applies to your country for your shipping and everything but they do usually have some really good special offers on and things like this i mean three pound um for a diamond painting is just brilliant you know it, it just particularly if you're just starting out and you may be wanting to build up your collection or just have something so that if you're working on a huge painting you just want a little one just to fit in in between then uh, yeah three pound brilliant price great we've had quite a collection we've got giraffe with his drills in bags we've got some christmas oh look at that love that little snowman with all his drills my favourite, I'm afraid, has to be the little gnome Christmas tree man with his little dog. I think it's a dog. To me, it's a dog. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, dear. I love these drills. And then we've had our border, which is super and as i said i love all the new things that come out for diamond painting i just think there's so many uses for that and it's going to look so good just pop that down there and then our little spectacle case our glasses okay and there is actually an owl called a spectacle owl spectacled owl so yeah great haul absolutely love them huge thank you gbfk for sending me these to show i just love them all but this is my favorite it's definitely one of those that on the wall every time i walk past it i'm just gonna giggle it just is just so funny uh, <laughs> well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated if you enjoyed looking at them uh, any comments or questions leave them in the comments down below and if you would like to come back and see what i get up to next then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell that pops up uh, you'll be subscribed to the channel and that is joining our little family uh, it just gives me a bit of a boost with youtube as well and it doesn't cost anything and you won't get lots of spam emails or anything it is just literally like a like or a follow on facebook and instagram and things like that Okay, well, that's me done for now. So thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.